stay tuned and let's check out this Marvel Legends super villains wave, The Hood. Pow, and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. Remember, you can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Quite simply, show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Super Villains Wave, aka the Zem New Builder Figure Wave. It is, of course, the Herd aka Parker Robbins, a petty criminal who just happened to find a demon in some sort of abandoned warehouse, stole his boots and hood, and then tried to conquer the criminal underworld as the hood. And it's essentially just a guy in a hood with a couple of weapons and the Sunny Channel has made this guy more famous than Marvel Comics at the minute so shout out the Sunny Channel but uh, yeah even the Marvel team were taking the mick out of this guy basically calling him an angry scalper a keyboard warrior if you will uh, as he is just an angry guy in a hood with some weird looking weapon effects that we've never seen before I won't say what I think they look like but uh, we'll see when we get them out of the box he does of course have a builder figure leg of course so you can't skip him if you are building Zemnu but there he is in the front of the box. We get a picture of him on the side of the box as well. On the back, we're getting a comic image of Parker Robbins as well as a right of the reeds. Marvel's The Hood, a chance encounter with a demon gives petty thief Parker Robbins a mystical cloak and transforms him into a true criminal menace. And then as always, you get a list of all the figures in this wave you need to build the Zem new builder figure. Today we're reviewing The Hood. So as I said, this guy, I'm sure I'm going to have qualms about the hood, but it's still a new character for my display. And he is a super villain. Well, a villain at least. I wouldn't say he's super, but still, let's get him open. So here we have him out of the box with all of his accessories on the table, including the Zem new builder figure leg. So you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel and come back because I always build and review the builder figure once I've opened up the rest of the figures in this wave. So go and check out the playlist. Today, we are checking out... Parker and as I said it is basically a guy in a big red hood and without this hood I don't think he has any of his abilities I think he originally stole the demon's boots as well but uh, they got lost along the way but the hood is why he's called the hood of course uh, and he comes with some weapons and um, with these new effect pieces which I've never seen before but they do plug into the gun pretty good to be fair so we'll check them out uh, but yeah let's zoom in and check out our angry scalper. So here's a closer look at our angry scalper, uh, aka the hood. And if I take the hood off, then we can just check out this body. You will see it is a standard sort of suited body that we've seen before. Now, I believe we've seen this with the retro Peter Parker and also Stan Lee. So you sort of know what you're getting. It's a pretty decent civilian body, to be fair. Jacket, trousers, shoes, nice and simple. Plenty of opportunity for head swapping. Now, I don't know who would particularly choose to leave the house wearing a blue jacket, green chinos and brown shoes. But I guess Parker Robbins does. Uh, that's a little bit funky in regards to the colour choices, but it is a nice contrast to the red hood. So it does sort of pop on the shelf a little bit. But again, who, who would wear green trousers or pants if you're American? Uh, but as I said, Parker Robbins does. So you know the articulation to expect from this suit of body. It's decent enough. You're going to get the type of range uh, you're going to want to get posed up with this guy. Uh, the only annoying thing is you can get him posed up like this for his guns, but as soon as you put the hood on, it's not going to sit over the shoulders properly and it's, it's going to be hovering above the head. So it's going to be awkward to pose this guy. Now, to be fair to the Hasbro team, like I do not think a character like this benefits uh, from a hard sort of plastic cape. Uh, unfortunately, it's not their fault, but I do think a nice sort of a uh, dramatic sort of cloth cape with bendy wire would definitely make this character more interesting posed up on the shelf than he does like this unfortunately but I do like the way that they've sort of molded the jacket so it sits over the shoulders so you know it's not going to fall off it doesn't need to be pegged in it literally can just sort of hover like that over the body like that and it's going to sit there and not fall off but again if this was sort of dramatic and all flared out with bendy wire, you can get him on a flight stand. This character would definitely look a, look a lot more appealing in your collection. But as is, is going to be a little limited, let's be honest. Because as soon as you start lifting these arms up to pose the guns, the shoulders then lift up the hood. And now you can see the hood's just out of sync. So I don't know if some hot water will do any good, but probably not, to be honest. But still, they've tried their best. I like the medallions, the gold medallions here on the hood. Let me just zoom in a little bit. 
So you've got these gold medallions and there is a nice texture to this hood as well, uh, all the way down. And again, a bit of tatty towards the bottom. He did steal it off a demon to be fair. Uh, so I don't think the demon's taking it to the dry cleaners, uh, but spin it around. And as I said, it sort of fits nicely onto the body over the shoulder. So again, you move the arm up, then it will hinder there. Even moving the arms out, you're gonna start hindering the hood and it's sort of separating it there in the middle. Uh, and uh, the hood is a deep cavity to be fair. So the head, as I said, you can like bury the head in there. So from the side, you can hide it. But again, it's gonna be hard to get this guy posed up really nicely. I do think a custom cloth good cape will make this character uh, more exciting for your shelf. But anyway, let's get his hands up. So we've got two trigger finger hands, no interchangeable hands, just two trigger fingers, which makes sense because he comes with two of these. Two guns. So let me just take a moment to look at these. Let me zoom in as best as I can. So bravo, two decent looking guns that just look like normal, generic, street level guns, which they should do because, as I said, Parker Robbins is a sort of street criminal, uh, so he doesn't need no space guns. Uh, so you can use these with the other Marvel Legends. Now, Deadpool can have these. These are pretty good. I like these normal looking black guns, both the same, both sculpted the same. What does make the hood unique is he sort of has access to these mystical abilities because he has that demon hood, uh, which gives him these sort of uh, crazy looking bullets. So let me attach this on there and I'll show you how it works in a minute. So there we have a mystical bullet. And to be fair, it's a decent effect piece. So you get this sort of yellowy orange effect that wraps around the bullet. And then, yes, I have to admit, the bullet looks a little bit funky. It looks like something out shooting out of a gun, but I'm not going to say that out loud due to monetization. But it, it is a bullet, essentially, people. It's a mystical bullet, just sort of um, dialed up for effect. And uh, you can see they plug in here just this hollow piece at the end of the plastic uh, just sort of hooks onto the gun. Uh, so that works pretty well. So you get two of them. Of course, the hood can hold them both very nicely. Now, the hands don't have an up and down hinge. They have a sort of side to side hinge, which is a little bit unfortunate for these trigger finger hands. But again, it's fine. You can make it work. Uh, that bullet looks a little bit floppy, uh, but still, uh, they do decent effect. Spin it around to the side there. You can see it's pretty good. So I do like these. They are pretty dynamic. I like sort of effect pieces that can bring the characters to life and stand out on the shelf. So I do like these they're going to stand out however when you've got the arm posed up you can see the hood there in the background is sort of rising up and now it's sort of just hovering on the top of the arms it does sort of need to be squashed down onto the head like that and then these need to be squashed in and um, so i don't know if i can get some hot water and maybe sort of make it sit like that maybe or again, as I said, a custom cloth cape will make this hood character a little bit more exciting for the shelf. But I do like these effect pieces. And again, it's a great fodder character if you want to just make some sort of custom um, civilian guys. But uh, I like what they've attempted to do. Just, as I said, a little bit unfortunate. But um, if you don't want him posed up with weapons, as I said, he does look better. Just sort of more neutral with the hood down as best as it can. Um, so, yeah. Up to you. But as I said, shout out the Sunny channel. He's definitely made this guy look a lot more fun uh, than I would have. And uh, yeah, the hood. Before we get into some comparisons, I do want to mention that the benefit of the hood is that you can get this suited body to stand. Now, sometimes these suited bodies are a pain in the ass just to get to stand up, but the hood does sort of help in balance and he will stand there, not a problem. It will take up a little real estate though on your shelf when you're getting him posed up for display, but at least this suited body is going to stand no problem when he's leaned up on that hood. Our first comparison had to be Dormammu because I believe it's Dormammu who are given in these demonic abilities through the hood. These mystical abilities are somehow linked to Dormammu. I don't think the demon that Parker killed was Dormammu, of course, but maybe he worked for the him or was in the same sort of mystical realm. I don't know, but still, Dormammu is definitely involved with the hood people. And uh, yeah, these work very nicely together if you want to get imposed up. And these effect pieces that come with Dormammu, you could actually wrap round the arms while he's shooting the guns with those mystical abilities so as i said there is potential to make this sort of generic suited body with a hood look a lot more interesting on the shelf especially with the backstory he's trying to be a criminal mastermind essentially because his dad worked for kingpin at some point here we have the hood compared to two other figures from this super villains wave including red school and the aim scientist supreme and again the hood is a nice addition to this wave and making a quick cameo is of course stanley compared to the hood and as I said, they share the exact same body, including the shoes. I did go and check the retro Peter Parker, but he's wearing trainers. So it is Stan Lee who was the closest to this hood body. 
And last but definitely not least, here we have the hood compared to Worthy Hellfire Hank. So, final thoughts. I think the hood is actually more of an interesting character than I first thought. Definitely a little bit more interesting for display than he first appears. He is just a guy in a suit, but once you get the weapons attached with the effect pieces and the hood does add a little bit of flair. So, if you get him in a dynamic pose, he will actually stand out. I still do think he will benefit from a cloth good cape with some bendy wire and stuff like that. So, maybe that's something I'll look into for display. But other than that, I do think the colors pop and it is a new character to add to my shelf so I do appreciate that and here he is just balancing on a flight stand and it definitely looks more interesting than just a guy standing there in a hood so uh, yeah definitely more fun than I thought I do think that the Sunny channel is a little bit of an enabler though because he's having a lot of fun with this figure over on his Instagram so go and check him out but uh, yeah this is a decent figure better than I expected uh, and again no, I'm not mad that I've added it to the collection at all but you let me know what you think in the comments below as always are you enjoying the Super Villains Wave so far, go and check out the playlist. But most importantly, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Much appreciated. You can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Quite simply, show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. And as always, people, my name is Dan W. You can follow me on Instagram. It's Dan Who. I'm on Twitter as well at Dan Who Reviews. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.